In the heart of Africa, a revolutionary breakthrough is shaking up the automotive industry, putting Western car manufacturers on notice. This isn't just about unveiling another electric car, it's about redefining transportation itself. Imagine a world where vehicles don't require charging stations, where air pollution is no longer a concern, and where gas stations become obsolete. What if a car could generate its own energy, freeing us from the limitations of traditional fuel and electricity? On February 10, 2025, an innovation quietly launched that could change everything. This isn't a concept or a distant dream, it's real, and it's available for purchase. But here's the real shocker. This game-changing technology isn't coming from the usual industry giants. Instead, it's being pioneered by Maxwell Chikumbutso, a visionary engineer from Zimbabwe who has developed a self-sustaining electric vehicle. His breakthrough merges advanced energy harvesting technology with cutting-edge sustainability, creating a future where mobility is no longer dependent on external power sources. As he takes the stage to present his creation, applause fills the air. His voice is firm, his conviction unshakable, his technology works, and it has been tested beyond his home country. The secret lies in what he calls the Micronic Energy Device. But before we break down how it works, let's look at the journey that led him here. In 2003, Chikumbutso began exploring energy technology. With no formal training, he mastered radio frequencies to a level that stunned even established scientists. His work caught the attention of researchers worldwide, including discussions with physicist Nassim Haramein in the U.S. Despite industry skepticism, he continued pushing boundaries, proving that true innovation doesn't always come from conventional institutions. His journey wasn't easy. In 2015, his work faced heavy opposition and many dismissed his technology as impossible. But today, the tide has turned. Backed by engineers, investors, and global partners, Chikumbutso's company, Scythe Technologies, has entered the commercialization phase. Orders are already pouring in. The Democratic Republic of Congo was one of the first nations to express interest, while South African partners placed an order for 3,000 units. Zambia followed with a request for 200, marking a significant milestone for the company. One of his earliest supporters, South African lawyer T.S.H. Raza, has played a crucial role in expanding this innovation beyond Africa. Interest is growing worldwide, with Swiss investors already purchasing these self-powered vehicles, some even planning to showcase them in museums as groundbreaking technological advancements. Now let's talk about the SCV-1, Chikumbutso's self-sustaining electric car. Unlike conventional EVs that rely on frequent charging, this vehicle generates its own power using advanced energy harvesting techniques. It eliminates the need for charging infrastructure, removing range anxiety and dependency on external electricity sources. If this technology delivers on its promise, it could fundamentally disrupt the auto industry. But Chikumbutso's ambitions go far beyond cars. He has drawn the attention of major clean energy companies, including the Seth Group, which is now exploring real-world applications of his technology. Zero Motorcycles, a leader in high-performance electric bikes, has also partnered with him to develop self-powered motorcycles. Meanwhile, Infinity Energy Solutions, a global leader in sustainable power, is working to integrate his technology into residential and commercial energy systems. Upcoming projects include the ZX-9 Superbike, a high-performance self-sustaining motorcycle, and the Infinity Generator, a device designed to power entire homes without relying on the grid. Pricing details are still being finalized, but one thing is clear. Scythe Technologies is committed to making this innovation accessible to the world. The impact of this breakthrough could be enormous. Imagine millions of people gaining energy independence, no longer relying on fossil fuels, unstable power grids, or expensive charging infrastructure. But history has shown that disruptive technologies often face resistance from industries that profit from the status quo. 
oil companies, utility providers, and even traditional automakers have a vested interest in maintaining their control over energy consumption. Despite this, demand for clean, independent energy solutions is stronger than ever. Visionaries like Chikumbuzo are proving that the future isn't dictated by a select few. It's shaped by those bold enough to challenge the norm. While some remain skeptical and call for further independent verification, others see this as a pivotal moment in the clean energy revolution. If this technology proves viable at scale, it could reshape global economies, politics, and daily life as we know it. This also raises a critical point. For too long, African innovators have been overlooked on the global stage. But history is being written right now. From clean energy to space exploration, African minds are proving that innovation has no borders. Whether or not Chikumbuzo's self-powered vehicle becomes the new standard, it has sparked a conversation that can't be ignored. So what happens next? Will Maxwell Chikumbuzo prove the skeptics wrong? Will his technology revolutionize transportation and energy? The world is watching, and the answers may change everything.